whether you're a brand new player who's just gotten Madden or a player who's played Madden at either a recreational level or, or up to even a competitive level, this defensive breakdown is for you. In this video, we're going to be covering the 4-3 even 6-1 defense, breaking down how to set the defense up at the most basic level, as well as some more advanced setups that you can utilize to, to just shut your opponent down. We're also going to be covering the dime formation briefly, which is very, very similar to the 4-3-6-1. And I have yet to see anyone link these two defenses together um, as being very similar. But they are, and we'll show you exactly how. So if you want to get sacks, stuff the run, and get interceptions, this video is for you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, as it will really help me out in building my channel. All right. You can find the 4-3, even 6-1 defense in the following playbooks. For this video, we're using the Chiefs Defensive Playbook, which to me is probably the best defensive playbook out there because it has all of the meta defenses you're going to need for Madden 24. So the 4-3, even 6-1 formation is quite possibly the meta defense for Madden 24 this year, with Madden pros even using this defense to win multiple belts. And there are several reasons why. First off, the 4-3-6-1 is a symmetrical formation, meaning that if you base the line, the defenders are going to line up in a perfectly balanced way that not only helps disguise what coverage you're, you're running, but also keeps defenders in place to make quick, easy adjustments. The 4-3-6-1 also has all of the coverage shells you're going to need, and you can make quick, easy, advanced adjustments if needed. The defense also plays the run very well, just stock. And finally... The 4-3-6-1 generates significant pressure through disengages and quick sheds up the middle. And it just wreaks havoc against your opponent, you guys, just with only rushing four. And we're going to show you how to get that kind of nat um, natural pressure. For coaching adjustments, when you're at your defensive selection screen, just press the right stick in. We're going to turn auto flip defenses to off. We're going to auto line to base, and we're going to set our option defense to conservative. Okay, we're going to come out in the cover four quarters, which is probably the most used cover shell in this game. The cover four is probably the best cover shell out there, but it's also the best shell for stopping the run because the safeties are by default are in run fits, meaning that they're going to play the run first. And so they're going to be running downhill as soon as the ball is snapped. It does help to drag your safeties down probably about 10 yards from the line of scrimmage if you have time. Now for the basic setup, for beginners, it's pretty simple. We're going to pinch our line, which is left on the D-pad and down on the left stick. And then we're going to crash our defensive line, which is left on the D-pad and down on the right stick. Sometimes you'll have to do this twice to get it to, get it to work, but that's the play art that you want on your, on your defensive line. Okay, This is going to engage, for whatever reason, a lot of disengaged sheds, and, and really often it's going to create... Just a very quick push up the gut. Honestly, it can be a very devastating front to play against. Okay? Now we're just going to use our middle linebacker. We're going to hover him between the two defensive tackles until you see the green bars come above his head. And then we're going to let the play play out. As you can see, this works very well. It's a very good stock defense. Now, obviously, when you're running just stock defense, a good player is going to be able to burn it, right? Because you're essentially playing the computer. But in this situation, we have quick disengages, generally speaking, and a very good coverage shell. Look at those quick disengages right there. Pretty much everything is covered on this play except for that little flat out there. And that disengage is coming. Did you see it? He's come screaming at the quarterback. So we gave up five yards on that play. I'll take that. Now, if we're wanting to take away shorter routes, the only thing we need to do is make one more adjustment. So we're going to come out. We're going to pinch our defensive line. We're going to crash them down. So we get the kind of play art that we want. There it is right there. Now we're going to shade our coverage underneath by pressing the triangle button and the right stick down. That turns our cloud flats into hard flats, okay? So they're gonna play shorter routes, okay? In this situation, it's okay to go ahead and press if you want to, which gives a little bit more coverage in those, in those flat areas until the flats get out there. 
And then we're just going to take our middle linebacker. We're going to hover over between the two defensive tackles. And let's see how this play plays out. The only thing they have open are very quick, quick throws underneath. Okay? So if we watch the instant replay... That's a pretty clogged, <laughs> that's a pretty clogged field right there, okay? He got that out, but the heat was coming. This disengage, these disengages are pretty fast. We're going to do this again. Here's our play art. Hover. That's all they have. And the computer knows. This computer obviously knows that heat is coming fast. So he's got to get that ball out there. Look at that. Did you see the disengages coming through the line? The computer had literally less than a second to throw that, to get that ball off, or he was going to be in trouble. So as you can see, with this simple setup, you're now going to be using one of the most powerful defenses in Madden 24. And even just using this basic setup that we just went through, you're going to be able to get sacks, you're going to be able to stuff the run, and you're going to be able to get stops in general, just like the pros do. But you can also take this cover four formation, and you can take it to another level by double mabling very easily. And again, that's why this is such a popular and frankly powerful formation, because you can make advanced setups within just a second or two. Okay, for those of you who don't know, double mabling in Madden, it's essentially having deep zones, mid zones, and flats on both sides of the field. And it basically just essentially takes away both sides of the field outside of the hash marks. And it just leaves you to protect the middle, roam the middle, and go for knockouts, interceptions, or, or, or blow up the run. Okay, so to set this up, it's pretty easy. Okay. So before we do this, we're going to need to go into our coaching adjustments. So we're going to choose new play. And we're going to go to auto flip on, auto alignment to base. Option defense is going to be conservative. For our zone drops, the flats, we're going to set them to 30. And our curl flats, we're going to set them to 5. So the curl flats will normally play deeper, and the flats are going to play shorter. We're reversing that, okay? And, and there are reasons for that. That's probably for another video, but just trust me on this, okay? And that's all you need to do, okay? And then we're going to come out in the cover four quarters, and we're just going to pick a play. Um, uh, let's just go with that mesh play again, okay? Um, this formation, I'm telling you, it's pretty good. Okay, it, when you start taking it to this level, this advanced level here, a double mabling, it's really going to do well. So we're going to pinch our line, we're going to crash it, make sure that the play art is correct. Okay, I like to spread the linebackers out. Okay, that's right on the D pad, up on the left stick, and that just puts them out about an extra yard or so, lets them get out there to the side, and I feel like it helps contain the run a little bit better as a user. It helps me to get in here and blow up run plays. Okay. Now for the coverage adjustments, we need to take our outside cornerbacks and we need to put them into hard flats. Okay. So to do that, we press triangle and triangle, and then we're going to select the cornerback we want. In this case, we're going to select square, and we're going to do a hard flat. Then we're going to go triangle, triangle again, and we're going to press circle, and we're going to go into a hard flat. That is a double mabel. Those blues are actually going to back up instead of play short because of, we, we changed our settings. And those purples are going to play the flats. Okay, That's why this is such a great formation because when your linebackers are in coverage, they're actually in the box. Okay, They're actually near the line of scrimmage. So they don't have to drop back into coverage and then recover and take on the run if it's a run. They're right there. Now, one final thing we need to do is we need to, those deep zones, if we don't fix this, we could get bombed very easily. So we're going to press triangle, triangle. And in this case, we're going to take our deep safety to the left side, triangle. And we're going to put him in a deep half. And then we're going to go triangle, triangle. We're going to press X. And we're going to put him in a deep half. So now that is our play art. That is a classic double Mabel. And all we have to do is cover the middle of the field. Okay? So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. Let's go. 
There's nothing. There is nothing. Let's check out the instant replay on this one. Nothing open. And we did not get disengaged pressure this time. Not very quickly. You can see that, though, that the, that pocket's getting getting destroyed. Most of the time, somebody's going to get in there. Every once in a while, somebody doesn't. But look at this coverage. There's not a single receiver open. There's nothing that the offense can do. And so the quarterback has to scramble. Yeah, he's very lucky on that play. Okay? So this is a very, very powerful play powerful formation you guys that is a pro level setup right there okay now just to let you know okay we can do this very quickly i know this seems very intimidating for new players but i'll show you how quickly we can set these adjustments up that's it all done it literally took a second and we have our double Mabel set up okay. awesome awesome play okay this is a very very effective defense okay um, if you're an advanced player you can make all sorts of adjustments out of what I just showed you. You can cross man, you can man up one or two different guys. There's a lot of stuff you can do, but for the purposes of this video, I've just shown you how to set up a defense that a lot of pros were using toward the beginning of the year, okay? The next play that we're gonna use is the cover three Mike Blitz, okay? The cover three shell, it's it's also an awesome shell, and, and it might be as meta as the cover four is this year, it's certainly close, okay? With this play, we're going to be bringing extra heat, so we're not going to have to have that sort of up-the-gut disengage. We're not going to at least have to rely on that up-the-gut disengage pressure that can be so devastating. We're, we're also going to be bringing heat from the outside, and that is going to make this a pretty brutal setup. We have a nice covered shell in this cover three. We've got the four defensive linemen with a typically pretty brutal pass rush and now we're bringing an outside linebacker into this okay um, you can also do this out of the cover four if you want you can just make a couple of adjustments so anyway I'm going to show you how to do this and again we'll just pick uh, I don't know that looks good we'll just pick some play it, does, it doesn't really matter okay so it's going to be the same setup right the exact same setup so we're gonna pinch our line, crash it, and then all we have to do is hover up here. And, and we're just leaving this basic. Now remember, we, we did leave our zone drops um, at 30 and five. So what we're gonna do is press triangle, and we're gonna shade underneath, which is actually going to cause those linebackers, or excuse me, cause those, those hard flats to actually drop back, okay? And then we're just gonna run this play, and we're gonna generate some heat. What I tell you? That's very quick pressure. I mean, this guy didn't have any time. And in terms of receivers being open, there's one guy in the scene. And we could have taken that guy out if we were actually playing, you know, in a game, I would have gone straight for that tight end. Okay? But you can see there is no time. No time at all. Very, very brutal defense you guys those two plays those two plays are just awesome plays and that's really all you need okay that's really all you need okay now i play mostly zone but if you want to run man this formation also has pretty good man coverage um you can use the the cover one hole or the the cover one blitz um i i don't particularly like man unless you have help over top I prefer to have two too deep help over top but you can run a man coverage concept in this defense but honestly this defense is built over the cover four quarters and 
and and the sand three blitz cover three buzz it's basically more of a defensive shell you can use the sam will blitz to generate some real heat it's very similar to spinner and the dollar but for this for, for this purposes of this video the cover four quarters and the sam three blitz are the ones we're going to use now that's the 4-3 even 6-1 defense and it's become so popular and and it's just because it's so effective okay but as a bonus i'm going to give you guys a quick tip if you play mutt and you don't have the ap or want to use the ap uh, you know for for lurk artists for your linebackers or you're just playing regs or franchise where you don't even have that ability available you can simply do the exact same thing that this formation does but using the dime instead okay so we're going to go down to the dime here, okay? Dime normal. We've already got our adjustments set just how we want them, 30 and 5 for our flats and curl flats, okay? And we're going to come out in cover 4, exact same. Dime blitz 3, exact same, right? It's, it's basically the exact same coverage, okay? So we're going to come, go ahead and come out in this, in this dime three, and um, let's go ahead and, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll go ahead and do the spot, okay? So for this one, the setup is ever so slightly different. Instead of just pinching the line, I like to pinch the entire defense. Right trigger, left stick down. That pinches the defense, Okay. Now we're going to go. We're going to crash our line down. So we're going to go left on the D pad, down on the right stick. And now we have the exact same look that we had in our four three six one defense, right? And we'll go ahead and let it play out here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay? So, you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it helps you. Just like with offense, it's so important in Madden to become very comfortable with at least one defensive formation. And if you're going to pick one or two formations, you just can't go wrong with the 4-3, even 6-1, and the dime. Okay? So, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Again, it really helped my channel out, and I hope everyone has a great day.